born in Conway, grew up here, and Tom Leith has worked for the city now for 29 years, going on 30. So have, raise your hand if you've lived here for 30 years or more. That's awesome. That's it. And if you can remember what our city was 30 years ago and what it is today, a lot of that can be attributed to Tom Lee. And I think we've been... I think we're all very lucky um, to have had a city manager that's been able to accomplish the things that he has. I'm not going to get into it because we've got a video that kind of is going to do a little better job of introducing all of his achievements than I will. But all I can say is that as a citizen of this town, of this city, and having raised my kids here and lived here, I want to thank you personally for everything you've done for Myrtle Beach. And we'll turn over the video. <coughs> Over 25 years, Tom Leith has watched as the city of Myrtle Beach has undergone phenomenal growth and change. From rebuilding the area in the aftermath of Hurricane Hugo to redeveloping the former Myrtle Beach Air Force Base into the Market Common, a generation's worth of advancements have been made under Tom Leith's watch as city manager for Myrtle Beach. Tom has served uh, as the city manager for going on 27 years this year uh, when he announced to city council that he would like to retire at the end of uh, his current contract, which is December of 2014. And as the city manager for 25 years in a community like this that has grown and changed as drastic as it has, it's rare that you find somebody in that position uh, whose most important job is at any given time to keep four of the seven council members happy. And that can be a daunting task because of uh, the changes that may occur uh, and the wants and demands and desires of council. Not everybody's always happy with everything that goes on in the city, but when you've got 860 plus employees currently working in the city, that majority of them have a high respect for him. His staff, his key people in all the departments, his department heads have a huge respect for him and a guidance is that Tom's management skill, I think he was quoted as saying, is that he surrounded himself with excellent people and then got out of their way. Tom, frankly, has been that quiet, stable force behind city council that has pushed and nudged and urged and directed and guided. Tom has always been able to deliver services that meet the needs of both our business community, our tourist community, and our residents, at the same time maintaining a very low uh, tax base for the citizens that live here. No, without his, his leadership, uh, when I became the mayor, uh, I was probably like a, a duck paddling in the water. Tom sort of took me out of his wing and explained a lot of things, the workings of the city, how the inner part of the workings go. Also, he, he was able to, to guide me in the right direction and give me the do's and don'ts. So, not being in that uh, in city council before or, or having a political position, you'll make some mistakes. And that's what he really helped me not do as much as I could have done. A city is only as strong as its financial health. Tom Leith has ensured the city of Myrtle Beach's monetary well-being is exceptionally sound. His leadership has provided a city management and operations system that is highly regarded across South Carolina and the entire nation. At the end of 2014, Tom Leith is stepping down from the role he has held dear for so many years. He leaves behind a stable community whose future prospects look incredibly bright thanks to his dedication to civil service. The Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce is proud to honor Tom Leith as its 2014 Citizen of the Year. I would like to tell Tom that I am delighted to know that he is going to have a lot of time on his hands because I'll be calling him with a volunteer opportunity he cannot turn down.
work for. I got here and they continue to do good work. And they'll do good work after I'm gone. So I would accept this award really in honor of the city employees. Thank you.